Exchange rate is a price of one currency in terms of another. Before we talk about how exchange rates are quoted, let me just remind you that currencies themselves have different abbreviations and symbols. For example, you may recognize this for US dollar, or you may have seen the three letter currency code for US dollar, or you may have seen this, or sometimes people simply write out US dollars. So there are different ways to uh, denote currencies. So going back to exchange rate, again, it's simple, exchange rate is simply price of one currency in terms of another. So suppose we're talking about exchange rate between pound and US dollar. And let's say exchange rate is such that one pound today is worth or equivalent to 1.3 US dollar. So we can write it as such, or um, we can write it in this way or it could be even the other way around. Or you may have seen it being written as such. Or, or of course, the th three letter currency codes themselves can be used. For example, we could say that one British pound is equivalent to 1.3 US dollars. So these are all referring to the same thing. So since exchange rate is referring to price of one currency in terms of another, and since it's uh, 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 using two currencies, there are two different ways to express exchange rates, or there are two different ways exchange rates can be quoted. So there's the direct quote and there's the indirect quote. So direct quote is price of one unit of foreign currency in terms of the domestic currency. So just as uh, American consumer would say one iPad is priced at $400 or price of one loaf of bread is let's say $5. Uh, you're saying that one euro is equivalent to 1.1233 US dollars. So you're expressing foreign currency or you're expressing the price of foreign currency in terms of your own domestic currency. And we also call it American terms. On the flip side, you could also express uh, how much one unit of your domestic currency is worth or equivalent to um, in terms of a foreign currency. So you could talk about one US dollar being equivalent to 0.8903 euros. So this is called indirect quote or in European terms. And naturally, these two are simply reciprocals of each other. So if you know the direct code, you can always find the indirect code and vice versa. So in this textbook in general, we use S for spot rate and we use this expression uh, S uh, J over K, meaning that we are talking about what is the price of one unit of currency K, whatever that happens to be, whether that's Japanese yen or US dollar. Uh, so price of one unit of currency K in terms of currency J. Um, and let's take a look at the Wall Street Journal currencies uh, section. So these are US dollar foreign exchange rates in late New York trading uh, from August 5th of 2020. So as you can see, you have two columns of exchange rates provided here. The first one says in US dollars, second one says per US dollar. So the first column is referring to price of the all these different foreign currencies in terms of US dollars. So for example, one Canadian dollar was equivalent to 0.7537 um, US dollars. So this first column is your direct quote, since we're expressing prices of foreign currencies in terms of US dollars. This second column, on the other hand, um, is expressing the price of one unit of US dollars in terms of foreign currencies. So for example, one US dollar is, was equivalent to 1.3904 Australian dollars. So the second column is your indirect quote. Since we're talking about the foreign currency price of one US dollar, of course, this is assuming that you are American investor. So again, uh, as long as we knew the direct quote, we can find the indirect quote and vice versa.